All right, that was The Kinks with You Really Got Me off their 1964 debut album, Kinks. Um, they also debuted in the U.S. with an album with that name, You Really Got Me. Uh, that was common back in the day, uh, back in the 60s. You'd see basically uh, a U.K. release of an album, and then later on there'd be a U U.S. release, at least if the band was from the U.K. And then they'd just rename the album and put a few different songs on there. Um, they've actually did that with the Beatles a lot, but I haven't been uh, bringing up the American releases at all, I don't think. Um, I'm drinking some Dewar Scotch today, and uh, we have some special Coke that just showed up at the store the other day, and I just had to have some, just because it was weird. Because it says it's Starlight Limited Edition, and when you look at the flavor, it says it's Space Flavored. I don't usually chase scotch with anything at all, but let's see what space flavored Coke is like. I don't know, it tastes like Coke. It tastes like Coke, folks. Uh, hi, my name is Bean, and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 79 of the Beatles tournament today, and uh, we have two songs from the mid 60s going head to head. If you're unfamiliar with the, the channel, if you're unfamiliar with the channel and you're not sure what a Beatles tournament is, we uh, basically took every single Beatles song and we threw it into a tournament, like a single elimination style tournament, and then they face off head to head to decide which is the best Beatles song overall in the end. Uh, we're just listening to the Kinks from 64 because we have a song from 64 from the Beatles up today. And you know, I just like to immerse ourselves in that sound. All right, and keeping in uh, the pattern that we have going, we have another George Harrison song up today. Yesterday, we listened to Within You Without You. I voted it down. The day before, we listened to Savoy Truffle. I voted it down. So we'll see if Think For Yourself from 1965's uh, Rubber Soul, that's track five, will fare as well as or better than the other two songs. I remember the other two songs from hearing the name, so... I can't remember this one from the name. I don't know if how that I don't know if that means anything though. Sometimes I forget the name, you know. Um and that's going up against And I Love Her, which is track five on Hard Day's Night. So we have two track fives against each other. And Hard Day's Night is a soundtrack to a film of the same name. Oh, this one actually is also uh George Harrison centric. Uh, George Harrison came up with the guitar intro for this song. It was written by Paul, but the uh, producer said it would sound good with a, with an intro, and uh, George came up with the intro for it. So we'll see what that sounds like, too. However, we will be listening to these songs in reverse with a bit of distortion, mostly because I like to torture my listeners. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. First up, we have Think For Yourself off of Rubber Soul. Thank you. 
All right, that's a pretty good song. I remember that one once it started playing. Um, one cool thing about the the fuzzy brr, 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 sound going on in there is actually um, Paul using a fuzz box on a bass. Um, and that was actually created after Phil Spector was making zippity doo -dah, and the uh, engineer who set up the track overloaded the microphone on the guitar player, and it became very distorted. Phil Spector said, leave it like that, it's great. And then later on, someone tried to copy that sound to invent the fuzz box, so the Beatles played the, played the bass through that, and it sounded really cool. I agree, it sounds really cool. That was a little quote from George Harrison. Um, according to Genius.com, but it doesn't say where you're from. You know, this space-flavored Coke tastes like if you took cotton candy and melted it in your Coke. That is too much sugar. And I Love Her is coming up next. Let's check that out. that was and i love her so that guitar intro that made the song is apparently uh just kind of accentuating the song throughout and that is a really cool tone i really like what uh, george did there it's like what four notes da, 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 da. that's four notes pretty good job for four notes um but you know i think george did a little bit better with think for yourself like it's a whole song um partly political partly philosophical um, he says it was probably about somebody, but he can't remember who. Who knows what that means? He probably remembers who he wrote it about. You remember he writes shit about, right? Um, ultimately, though, I think I'm going to give that one to Think for Yourself. I just think that one's just a bit more exciting for me overall. And I Love Her was really good, and I really liked just how chill it was. The percussion was great. Uh, I mean, Ringo on the bongos, you don't hear that very often, and I really just can't disagree with that at all. But I think I think For Yourself was just a little bit better. That could have been a coin flip, though. Honestly, I just, uh, I know Think For Yourself a little bit better, so it just sticks into my head a little bit better, too. So that could be why, but... We're going to go ahead and go with that today, just because I just think that that's like the better song out of the two, really, for me anyway.
Um, if you want to talk about it, we've got social media. Feel free to hit us up on, uh, we've got Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. The Twitter's really dead, and I hear Twitter is just dead in general. At least that's what uh, one of my commenters said, and that might be true. Or maybe we just don't know how to use Twitter. If you have any Twitter advice, let us know. We got TikTok, though, and TikTok's doing great. And I know people are using TikTok these days, so that's cool. I do link the songs down below so you can check them out. Played forward if you'd like to, if you don't like this whole distorted back masking that we do. Um, I'm not going to stop it. I don't care what you say. Mostly because copyright rules won't let me care what you say. I also linked the entire Kinks song that we heard down below, but if you haven't heard You Really Got Me by the Kinks yet, I don't know, what have you just only heard the Van Halen version? Listen to both, come on. Um, also, we do have a, there's, what is that thing? Also, we have a, a cash app, so feel free to throw us some cash if you'd like to. We're not making any money off of this channel. Um, I just got a job, so I'm a little bit broke, but you know, it's not like I'm struggling. It'd be cool to get a le little extra money, though, if you feel like it, you know. Do what you want. Like this video if you like this video, and also subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. We've got more uh, music tournaments coming down the line. There's only about two months left to the Butthole Surfers tournament. The Beatles tournament, it's safe. We have like four months left or something, probably way more than that left on the Beatles tournament. So if you're into the Beatles tournament, just keep watching it. It's going for a while. Share this video with your friends and family and let them know that you think Battle of the Band is the best thing you have ever seen and they need to watch it right now. Comment down below with which song you would have chosen if you were uh, in the hot seat today. And let me know what song you think is the better of the two. I think Think For Yourself is pretty good, but maybe you should think for yourself and decide on your own. Um... That's all the Beatles I have for today, and it's also all the Butthole Surfers I have for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow for some more Beatles and Butthole Surfers, and I hope y'all have a great night, wonderful afternoon, and a fantastic morning. Until then, um, what's that? Bye. And I love your, I guess I had some beers today. That's a weird reason. I'm sure that was Ringo.